A Terre Haute hotel happy to be home for several college students. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Patrice Dayton. Indiana State University has a record enrollment this school year, and the campus is running out of room. Because of that, several ISU upperclassmen will live in one of the downtown hotels for the semester. In tonight's Economy Watch, News 10's Kate Green explains how the booked rooms are boosting business. Some Indiana State University students check out what they will soon call home. You want to take a look at some rooms? Yeah. yeah. The Candlewood Suites becomes the latest residence hall for more than 70 students. Every room is going to have the full kitchen. It's really unique for this area. Um, I believe it's the, the first time Indiana State has ever done anything like this. It's going to be the setup for a, for a standard single room here. Looking at this way, over 40 rooms will be bunked for the next five months. A big boost to business. I mean, it's exciting for us um, not only to build that partnership with ISU, but also it helps the whole downtown area with restaurants, hotels, other hotels. Especially on weekends when they fill up, displaced guests here will be sent to other hotels. It's just a win-win for everyone. The hotel will see at least a 10% increase in sales over last year. Money coming not just from the rooms, but from restaurant revenue. Students will have full access to the Hilton Garden Inn restaurant through their ISU meal plan or blue box. From discounted items on the menu to even room service. But that's not the only amenities students will see. They get to use the amenities um, here that we offer the business center, the fitness center, free guest laundry, self parking, cleaning service. Yeah, I mean, it's just something that I know if I was still an undergrad, then I would definitely be looking into. That's why more students are looking to staying here. This is basically a move-in ready like for ISU right now. Students happy to consider this home and a hotel who's even happier to help. Yeah, right this way we'll take and help show you guys the room. And Tara Ho with photojournalist John Tim, Kate Green, News 10. Right now the contract with ISU for the hotel is just until December, but a few students outside the ISU contract have also made arrangements to live there for the school year. ISU students will start moving in tomorrow.